as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> and now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 190 pounds. Fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the great! Okay, protect we'll yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Straight right. Oh! <laughs> Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. <sighs> Out of range with that kick attempt. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Boom. Big kick lands. It's a nice one-two there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hands. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh man, head kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. He has a turtle in that kick. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Left hand punch in the clinch. Huge block there. I mean, he's cut south to side with these beautiful leg kicks. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. He 
is all about that left kick to the body. Straight punch lands. Such a fast leg kick. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice leg kick. And they separate. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And they separate. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Right hand upstairs. Another good stick to the head. There's no give on that leg. Ooh, continues to eat power shots here. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Again, back into this position. Fifteen seconds to go. Good punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs, that is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Round two here. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful strike. Wow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch to the body. And they separate. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. below that left eye. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Side control now. 
All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go! Big kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. What a tricky head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice straight punch. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. I mean, that right hand landed square. Switching stances here. Nice kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Nice head kick. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Oh! Strike hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet! That was just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> nice leg kick lands. And they separate. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Got the single collar tie. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Big punch from the clinch. Big head kick land. Ten minutes in the books. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good punch lands. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Real quick leg kick. He blocks the punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from him. His confidence is due to roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, 
doesn't That's seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the plan exactly where you want. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Missed with that attempt. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice right here. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Nice punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with authority. Watch knees to the body. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Pretty good right hand. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot. Oh, inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Single collar tie now. He lands a switch knee. Man. Take more of these leg kicks, you would not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starts to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, single collar tie now. Going orthodox now. Big leg kick lands. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Powerful leg kick lands. 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. kick as well. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Three minutes. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the girl. Now there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by...